last night tell you about Draymond's behavior as we approach what matters, the playoffs? Well, what this tells me, Skip and Key, that Draymond is never going to lose his edge. Yeah. I mean, he's not going to go out there and blow you away with his numbers. So what does Draymond give to the game? He gives, he's an intimidator, emotional leader, enforcer. He's the heart and soul. Is he an intimidator, though? I mean, do you think people are afraid of him as in physically fear his presence? It comes that way, Skip. Okay. It comes all, right. all that way. I, I don't think you would be intimidated I, I, no, by it. I come yeah. from a different era, too. Yeah. Okay. This is a different era. Well. So, you know, this era. I don't think you would be intimidated by him either. Yeah, he he would have ran to the sideline. I don't know. He, uh, we, we gonna he was Paul, a receiver. We gonna he wasn't a linebacker uh, or a DB. We're going to let Paul not. finish up. But, he, he did block people, though. I give Key that. <laughs> he, he was a he receiver. Did. You know, they, yeah. you know, they yeah. go around they, the contact. They do. And so that's Draymond just giving his edge. That's all I've seen there. No, it's, there's no suspension. No, no there's fine no fine no, that's no. gonna stop him from being no. him. No. And so if this is what he's bring, he's bringing to the team, he's gonna continue to do that. Now I'll tell you this: if Draymond hadn't won four championships and this was his behavior, behavior throughout his time in the league, it probably would have been traded four or five times. You know, there's yeah. only so much you could put good, it with a player point. like that. Agreed. But when you won. Yeah. Doing these type of things, yeah. he has a longer leash than everyone. And the refs know it. I mean, if he's doing this on every play, you can't call every technical. No. On. And so he set a standard to where the, uh, the aggressive play that he puts forward to other players to where, all right, this is Draymond. If it gets over the top, then we'll give him a tech. Or, or if he starts choking or punching somebody's <laughs> elbow on exactly. him, we'll throw him out the game. Yeah. And so this was nothing. This is him keeping his edge and being who he is. How you say the guy's name, Skip? That, that, Aldama. Uh, Aldama. Mm -hmm. First of all, he gives him a little chicken wing in the business. After the, after the layup, right? After the layup. Right. So Draymond says, well, hold on, man. What, what are you doing? Okay, that's cool. He, what he did go up, over, and through Draymond. And I don't think Draymond... I, I think Draymond might have been as mad at himself for allowing the offensive board may, as it was. That, but go ahead, that, go ahead. That may be the case. Yeah. But when you got them sharp elbows uh, touching my body... True. I, you know, I'm just true hold enough, on, man. I'm not, you're not getting ready to do this to me. And Aldama's not exactly, uh, you know, he's not exactly an established star. Where okay. you're gonna say, okay, I, I, I respect right. that. Yeah. The, the thing that I don't like about it is I don't like to see Draymond's name in whatever people would potentially consider a negative. I don't like that. I just don't like it for but him. But you, you like Draymond. I you love know Draymond. him. I love him to death. I like you see him not too enfor long ago. Yeah. Uh, enforcer, like yeah. Paul said. You know, uh, intimidator, not intimidator as I'm a, I'm a beat you up, no. intimidator, but intimidator to the point where things change on his team like it did last night when they go on a run, when at one point uh, Memphis was only down by one, but then as soon as that happened, all of a sudden they got hot and it was the rest was history. By the way, from that moment <clears throat> forward, Golden State went on a 42 to 17 run. There you, there you go. 42 to 17. There you go. Now, what because is they have trouble with Memphis because Memphis won't quit on the road. They've been pretty good on the road. It, it, but it, go ahead. What, what do yeah. I always say to you, Skip, when somebody approaches another athlete? Don't touch me. So when Desmond Bain actually touches his arm, now, they, now you're creating something. Because if we cool, if you just go, we want to have a conversation. But once you physically put your hands on me. Well, his elbow or. Yeah. No, he grabbed him. He grabbed him. Yeah, you right don't there. touch me. The, that that Aldama grabbed. No, Desmond Bay. Desmond. Oh, oh, Desmond. I'm sorry. I thought right. you were still back on Aldama. No, I moved okay. on from that. Yeah, so no, 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 no. Don't but, touch me. Okay. So when Desmond Bay touches Draymond Green, now all of a sudden you get the little, the little push and the shoving. Okay, going but on. don't forget. Desmond Bain is protecting his coach because Draymond is getting in the face of his coach on the floor. What did right? I tell you? Okay. <laughs> what did I tell you about Rudy Gobert in Draymond? Don't touch me. Just don't touch me. I'm not touching the coach. Yeah, don't I got, touch I got me. No problem with that. So when you yeah. touch me, all of a sudden these things start to happen. Yeah. Now we pushing mm -hmm. and shoving. Yes. And Draymond yeah. actually didn't knock over the coach. He, he, Peyton he, knocked over the coach and fell he, to the ground. Right. He was pushing right. him. Draymond Gary, got pushed backward. Yeah, and Gary Payton Jr. Yeah. was the one who actually knocked right. the coach down. But everybody's like, Draymond pushed the coach down. Draymond, I'm like, man, what are y'all looking no, at? No, he did. I'm with just you on that. Just don't touch the man. By the way, the coach stayed down for a little while, but I think he's okay. But go yeah, ahead. I think, yeah. He, yeah, I think yeah. he's okay. But once all of that sort of stuff happens, Skip, you're going to have these confrontations. 
and things of that nature. I just don't like that he's involved in it. Because, again, we're talking about the incident as if he's losing his mind or something again. And, and, and I don't like that narrative for any player because it's not right. Just because he has a history of a hot-headed, temper-type guy... Well, he does. You know, you, we can't just look at this and automatically assume he's in the wrong. And I think a lot of people are doing that. Well, that comes with it, Key. I mean, when you've committed so many crimes and you're in the vicinity of the crime I again... I understand. You, you're yeah. going to get pointed yeah. out in the lineup. So... <laughs> I mean, <lineup. laughs> every <the> time... <laughs> he was in the area, you know, something must have must have happened. So, for me... Draymond Green is as conflicting and fascinating a player as I've ever tried to figure out because, Keyshawn, you have socialized with him. You know him. Off the floor, he is fun to be around. Yeah. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. He's funny and fun and big charisma, big personality. I, have you been around him at yeah, all? Absolutely. Or, okay. All right. Yeah, he's been around him. I'm looking yeah, at the so. numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the numbers, Key? Man, I'm just messing what with you, you man. <laughs> no, I got, I got you. I got his ten game deal. I was messing with Paul. I had to uh -huh. pull out his ten games that he played against First Draymond in his career. When I was oh, a player yeah. coach. You know? Really, as yeah. a player coach. Man, you wasn't yeah. a player coach in no 2012. Player, when I was a player coach. Was this Clippers or? No, it was. Yeah. Yeah. No, in 2012, <laughs> you played for Boston in 2012. Oh, what happened there? I don't even want to. You'll be mad at me if I did that to you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> That's just one of your bad nights. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. I took it light because they wasn't that good in 2012. So I must have went out the night before. You probably did. Maybe. You, shot, you had 20 attempts. You only hit four, but I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was it wasn't probably good. one, too. I don't right. want... <laughs> okay. So back to Draymond. He is the most beloved villain in the history of this league because he is beloved. He is a celebrity podcaster, and his podcasts are really good. He is gifted at that. He is so gifted with his gab that he's already hired full-time as a participant for TNT's Inside the NBA. So he's got a future when this ends, and mm -hmm. I don't know that's going to end anytime soon. But the point is, I think the referees are having a hard time figuring out how to referee him because he's Draymond Green, and he does have a lengthy history of incidents and cheap shots and dirty plays, it's way back. You can just go on the internet and call up some of those montage and you, you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, and that one, and that one, and that one. And obviously it crescendoed when he punched his teammate who's now in Washington. But the point was the referees now under referee Draymond because he, he's Draymond. It's like, well, that's just Draymond. And right. it is. It's just, he, he's not going to change. Right. I don't care. I don't know how much anger management counseling he undertook. I, it's not going to change who he is. And they don't want him to change because he is their conscience of that team. He is their backbone. They are not the same without him. I don't care what you say. He is an igniter for them. He ignites their offense, and he ignites their emotion because Steph and Clay are not physical players, obviously. They need him, mm -hmm. and yet he always comes close to being more trouble than worth because you can't just keep getting suspended and getting technical fouls, and you can't choke out Rudy Gobert, even though, to your point, Rudy no, started you it. you can't choke him out. You I told you that, Skip, but yeah. you can't touch him either. Okay, and then you cannot wheel and do MMA kicks on Nurkic in the corner. You just can't do it. It's just like... You can't go over the top. No? <laughs> it's you like, can't step on Sabonis' chest. Yeah, it, it, uh -huh. use, him as a, okay. use him as a chair lift off. But now the referees are like, uh, that's just who he is. Yeah. Okay, that's just who he is. Well, yeah. Okay, did he deserve a technical foul for what he did to Aldama? I, I think most players in a vacuum, they just get attacked. They would yeah. just stop it. They just say, okay, that's enough. Stop right, that. Right. Technical on you. Then both Draymond and Desmond Bain get a technical. And I'm with you on this. Don't touch me. Don't but, touch but Desmond me. Bain is saying, don't get in my coach's face. I'm going to have my coaches back. I because get. Memphis is known that they love... They're a quote unquote fighting team. Not that they fight you, but they they fight back. They're, yeah. they're extremely competitive, and they they don't like Golden State. And remember what Draymond did when he got tossed game one at Memphis. I'm going back a couple of years ago in the playoffs. And he does a victory lap around the whole <laughs> arena, screaming at the crowd, and he goes straight back to the hotel and goes live on his podcast. Okay, way to go. That's Draymond. But the point is that it was just another little instance, just a little indication that, to your point, 
he's just the same guy. And and he's got a quick trigger and, and he can get hot headed quick and he's gonna fight back. And if you touch him or embarrass him, he's just gonna respond in any way, shape or form. And sometimes it's a little crazy because I, I do think as a competitor, he still has one screw loose, just one screw. Well, he'll just sort of snap and go, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Well, 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 who doesn't in the NBA? What great yeah. players are all our favorites doesn't have a, a loose screw? And that's just what Draymond brings. I know, but when, when you got mad, you didn't cheap shot people. No, no, or... I, I, was, I was important to my team because I, I brought more statistically. You know, he brings more emotionally. So it, it goes hand in hand. It's almost like the same thing, you know, but they can win without Draymond. Our teams couldn't win without me. Okay. So you, you know, think they so, can, you think they can yeah. win without Draymond on the floor? They couldn't win championships, but they oh. can get through some. I mean, like get this year, this year, this year, mean, this year alone, he, he went, and during the suspension, he missed twelve games. They yeah. were seven and five. Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure at my time with the Celtics before our big three. Well, I missed twelve games. No. We one in ten. I mean, one in eleven. <laughs> like you know, so it, it is. He understands. Draymond is one of the smartest players he out is. there. He knows what he's doing. Don't get it twisted. Don't be fooled that he's over the top or he loses attitude. Oh, this is yeah. this is strategic right here. This is carefully planned right here. He's getting to the heads of the other team. They lose it. After this scuffle, go to state goes on a run and look, the game is over. This is strategic. He's like, we're not going back to so the rest of his teammates see that. Yeah. They're like, all right, you know, it's time he 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 stood up. And I and I'll give you a story. We played Cleveland when they had Shaq uh, with LeBron. And they were like the number one seed. And I remember we played in the playoffs. Something happened with Perkins. Well, which year would this have been? Like? This 2000, maybe like 11, maybe. Okay. I'm not sure. But when Perk stood up to Shaq and got in his face, we all looked like, whoa, you know, that's Shaq. That gave us some type of confidence, like, oh, yeah, we're going to run over them now. We're going to run over them now. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna whoop them, get them out of here, because nobody did that to Shaq. i never seen nobody get in Shaq's really? face. Wow. That's what Draymond brings to this team. He gets into the other big man's face or whoever their guys are, and, and, and then your teammates look at that and like, all right, we about to, it's time to start spanking them all over the floor. Yeah, it, it happened at about the 638 mark left in the second quarter, and at the end of the game, it was 137-116. So that just tells you, they was up by two at that point. They were. And so that just tells you right there the attitude that he brings, the confidence uh, he brings. I agree. Everything is okay. And, and like you said, though, Skip, yeah, the Memphis in in Golden State has had battles they in the have. past. Obviously, Ja didn't play. Uh, what's the kid that's in uh, the crazy dude that's in Houston now Mark that was with them? Oh, Dylan Brooks. Dylan, Dylan Brooks. Brooks yeah. He's not a part of that and, team. And Marcus Smart is now a part and, and didn't Marcus play Smart, last night. Marcus yeah. Smart is yeah. a part of that team. But that was the kind of, I don't know, it's like a, a, a we're young and we coming after y'all old dudes in the past. But that's not Memphis. They're a shell of themselves from a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. And you got to think that that still carries over from the past for Draymond and the rest of the Golden State Warriors, that these young dudes had these attitudes and disrespecting us, that we're not going to let that happen, uh, you know, this time around. All right, so, Paul, we're looking at an all-time possible play-in here, and you brought it up the other day. It, it's just loaded with superstars. You can call them aging superstars or whatever, but obviously there's LeBron, and obviously there's Steph, and obviously there's KD, and then there's okay. Luka and Kyrie, okay? Somebody ain't advancing. Two teams right. are not going to make it into the quote-unquote real playoffs, right? Golden State uh, not, and, and Dallas. I think out. the Lakers might be on the outside looking in on this one. They got go to they gotta go, the go, if they gotta yeah. go to Golden State. Yeah. If the Lakers got to go to Golden State for one game, Keith, for one game for their playoff life, <sighs> One game for their playoff life. You got them. You you'll put money down. You'll put the house up. No, I ain't gonna put the house up. But yeah, I understand. They. That's why I think the Lakers this year are gonna be on the outside looking in. The pro The problem though is if they play them. You you got we're bigger. First of all, if AD come to play, you just lost your whole entire bench for the season. Well, I mean, what the they say. Bench. That's what they say. It's not. No, Rachel was. Skip brought this up the other day that no, this is a Rachel, key piece. They'll be a different team with their bench. They would be. Yeah, yeah, but just, that don't mean we lost them for the season. It's reported yeah. that's a possibility. I'm, it, you know, I'm key, holding out hope. It doesn't sound good. And then you made the strong case. Even if all three come back for day yeah. one of the playoffs, they have not played all year for the most. Yeah, part. Yeah, but I'm you just know. talking about the the, the, yeah. the seven guys that yeah. actually are in the rotation. Yeah. 
I think they can go to Golden State if Anthony Davis plays. Because who going who do they got for Anthony? Looney ain't playing. Looney ain't playing. Draymond Green. Mm -hmm. What you mean? Draymond Green is there. You know, Anthony don't like that physical confrontation when he start throwing elbows in the bottom of his back, pushing him out farther than where he really want to be. Yeah, should he get numbers on Draymond because he's seven inches taller and more athletic and faster? Of course, but we've seen AD in too many circumstances shrink in the moment. We have. And so yeah. if this is the moment to where you're saying the Lakers need to get a win in Golden State, and then they got to get another win, to get to just to the playoffs, I'm just not buying with the way they've been consistently up and down all year long to play well when it's really needed. I do think AD should be an extreme advantage for the Lakers. And to our point about Draymond, he now becomes way more valuable without Kevon Looney because he's their inside force. He's their quote unquote rim protector, even though he's not much of a leaper. Well. Anthony Davis should have his way with he that. He just should. He he should get whatever he, he he should be able to name his number and the score in that matchup. Yeah, he should. And and LeBron too, to me. But like no Paul said, sometimes Anthony Davis plays a lot smaller than his size. And if you are defending him aggressively, he tends to disappear in those type of moments when he should elevate. I mean, Anthony Davis has the potential to be the best player in the league. Like, how many times have we said that in certain games? Like, wow, he looks like all world. He looked like a guy you can put up against Giannis, against the Joker, against NBA, against anybody in the world. But then when you look at the end of the game and he only has, like, seven rebounds, 18 points, yeah, that's a good game for guys that don't have the same potential as him, but this is Anthony Davis. He got the capabilities of giving you 30 and 12 every single night. And there's just something about he just doesn't know who he is some nights. He looks in the mirror, he doesn't see the same reflection. He doesn't, no. <laughs> and That's gonna point. change this year, though, man. <laughs> and yeah. it turns into something else. It's gonna change. It's gonna change this year. I got I'm hope. With <laughs> I, I'm with you, but I do not like the fact that those three are missing because that, those three make them They're missing all year long. Squad, though. I know, but that, and that's why your team's like five games over 500. But Golden State hasn't been much better, no. and y you're saying if they do get the Lakers at home and they do eliminate the Lakers at home, can Golden State then go on any kind of run? Could they get out of the play-in? Are you saying they they would be two and done? I don't think Golden State can get out of the play-in. I think they can beat the Lakers, though, but then the next matchup will probably have to be against, what, uh, Dallas, maybe? Or uh, Phoenix? Dallas and Phoenix? I don't yeah. think they can beat Dallas or Phoenix the way they're they, they are, They're a game and a half behind. I mean, they're half a game behind the Lakers right now. They're sitting at the 10th well, they spot. just won, so they didn't they go back? Yeah, they're half a game. They're, didn't look Lakers at 9 Lakers, yeah, Lakers are at, yeah. They got to see each other. Yeah, That's one way or the other, they're going to see, each, see other. each other. The, the one thing Golden State's got to deal with, they're about to go on a five-game road trip, and it, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. So you'll you'll see what they're made of. Yeah, these are all... And, yeah. the, and the thing is, they, these are all must-wins for the Lakers and Golden State because I've been watching Houston lately go on a six-game win streak. They're three games behind the 10th slot. Now, if one of these teams have a bad week, and yeah. the way Houston's playing, they can sneak into that play. -in. Yeah, but these teams all got a huge break because Shingun, who's their they they're played sort of, better since Shingun went down I, for some I, reason. I understand, but in the end, you're going to need him if you're going to really make a run into the ten seed. Mm -hmm. to, to me, but I'm with you. Ime's got them playing. They play hard on both ends. They're fun to watch, man. Yeah, they, they got we me. had our way with Golden State last year in the playoffs. I'm not worried about it, man. That was last year, Key. That's okay. This is a new Same year. team. Mm -hmm. No. Yo, and, yo. They and they don't have Looney. You got it. Lakers, done. See, that's the Lakers Celtic done. stuff, though. Yeah, man. I think it is the Celtic stuff. <laughs> it's the Celtic talk. stuff. I, I would agree. It's yeah. okay, though. All right. We got to get back to the National Football League. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.